Football Manager 24 is a love letter to the FM series as we know it. There will be new features and there will be revamps to existing parts of the game. So if FM 24 really is the most complete version of FM to date, here is how they could make a proper director of football mode land with a massive bang. We'll start with the basics, the simple stuff, the small tweaks that could hopefully be implemented without a great deal of development being required. And the first one is obvious. Please, don't make me be a manager to play as the director of football. Let me be an actual DOF. I know it's possible because there are a lot of directors of football in the game. All I want is that job title. That's all I'm asking for. Well, that and the team meetings at the start and end of the season. It would be fantastic if I didn't have to take these, but actually could delegate it to my assistant manager. Also, don't let me coach. I'm a director of football. I should really not be getting involved in tactical defensive training. And how about maybe not making me set up a tactic to play with? Other AI managers set up their own tactics all the time. So if we could just leave all that to our assistant manager's preferences, that would be cool. But possibly more than anything else, don't make me rely on assistant managers and heads of youth development. Let me appoint an actual manager with experience of running their own team of winning trophies. Even if it's just those who are unemployed, the possibilities are endless. Now those five tweaks alone feel doable and would make a massive difference by themselves. But there are five slightly deeper changes that would add a whole new level to the immersion and story of playing as director of football. Features that are already in the game and feel like they just need to be repurposed ever so slightly. If I can appoint the manager, then let me interview them too. Flip it around so that the manager has to impress me as the interviewer. So, Anthony, how comfortable are you working with our director of football, uh, me? I can confirm firm I would be very happy building a working relationship with you and I think we could develop a strong understanding at this football club together. Let's also have some director of football specific goals. All of the ones in the game at the moment are very much geared towards management. Reach the Champions League, record a top half finish. What about business objectives? Reaching a certain level of profit, developing the coaching team, the recruitment team and let the manager come to me demanding certain signs. Signings. This is kind of already there as a workaround. Anthony, who would you like as a central defensive midfielder? Oh, I see. Joao Palinha, Sam McNish or Santiago Nevada. Hmm, but what if I don't return any of those players? What would the consequences be and what would that do to my relationship with my manager? Let me set the culture of the football club and the style of play. It should be up to me as director of football to dictate that we play defensively solid football or make the most of set pieces, not a requirement from the board. And please stop making me holiday on match days. At the moment, this is essential to make sure that your assistant manager takes complete control of the team, the substitutions, the tactics, so it all works, please, just for quality of life if I'm playing as director of football. Any chance we could just make it automatic? Those five adjustments are a stretch, but they do feel possible because they're already in the game in some way, shape or form. Just implementing them in a more specific style for a director of football mode would be incredible. Incredible. But what about the dream scenario? Pushing the boat right out, what would my five dream features be for a director of football mode in FM24? Well, firstly, the relationships that I have should not be with my players. They should be with my staff. Why should I be able to praise my players for a great training performance or winning individual awards? I should be able to congratulate my manager on winning the Premier League. Maybe I can criticise him for a poor run of results, pick him up after a tough match and keep him grounded if he gets a little too big for his boots. Because yes, the manager should get cross if I start selling key players from under him. It shouldn't matter that we got £30 million for Fabian Reader. He was a permanent fixture in our team before he moved mid-season and Anthony Clark should be furious at me for making that sale. I think we need a new right back. But maybe Anthony thinks we need a new striker and would be very upset with me if I spend our budget on the wrong position. Basically, top level managers should be very hard to please, just like players. Let me have actual discussions with my staff as well. Maybe I want to encourage him to play our high potential wonder kid more frequently.
frequently. Or I'd like to suggest he retrains someone's position. Maybe even suggest a change of formation or a tweak to our style of play. I would love to have those conversations and I would also love it if they don't always go very well. Let me make promises to my manager and let me break them. Let me build relationships with other staff members too. If Anthony Clark ever leaves, perhaps I have my eye on an in-house promotion for our under-21s manager. The better relationship I have with the rest of my team, the easier it is to build that continuity and build that dynasty. We already have a squad planner for players a few years into the future. How about staff as well? And finally, when it comes to success or failure as a director of football, my decisions should count. If I make a bad managerial appointment, I probably should be fired. Same goes for poor recruitment, poor outgoing transfer business, poor player development and bad financial management. Whatever those criteria are, they should be linked but not exactly the same as the ones dictating success on the field of play. So there we have it my excellent friends, a whistle stop tour of the changes and improvements that in my mind could make Football Manager 24 the best director of football simulator on the market. What features would you like to see in FM24? though be it director of football or otherwise let us know in the comments below join the discord and tell us there follow us on socials and of course subscribe to this channel and come back soon for more awesome football manager content